the C-130J Super Hercules, known for its unmatched versatility and reliability, has been a key player in military transport for years. It offers improved performance with cutting-edge technology, faster climb and cruise speeds, and the capability to operate in tough environments across the globe. However, as impressive as it sounds, this video isn't about the C-130J. Instead, we're focusing on the aircraft that's set to take its place, the Embraer C-390. In this episode of AeroBuzz, we'll explore why the C-390 is going to revolutionize the industry and how it's poised to surpass the C-130J. To understand the significance of the C-390, we need to first look at the history behind its development. Embraer, a prominent Brazilian company, has long been known for manufacturing a wide range of commercial and military aircraft. However, in 1969, they shifted their focus toward producing military aircraft for the Brazilian Air Force. This shift marked a turning point for the company, eventually leading to the creation of the C-390. In April 2007, Embraer announced their intention to develop a new mid-sized twinjet military aircraft. The goal was clear, to create a modern, technologically advanced alternative to replace older, less efficient cargo planes. This new project drew heavy inspiration from the Embraer 190, a well-regarded aircraft in its own right. Initially called the C-390, the aircraft was later renamed the KC-390 to highlight its ability to perform air-to-air -air refueling missions. By May 2008, the Brazilian government had invested over $460 million into the project. Then, in April 2009, Embraer secured a $1.5 billion contract to build two prototypes with the support of the Brazilian Air Force. After years of development and testing, the aircraft, now called the C-390 Millennium, was unveiled in 2019. Embraer had designed the C-390 with the specific goal of challenging the C-130J, Super Hercules, an aircraft that has been the gold standard in military transport for decades. The challenge was clear. Embraer needed to prove that the C-390 could meet, or even surpass, the C-130J's legendary capabilities. The C-390 Millennium is designed to be highly versatile, capable of handling a wide range of missions. It can quickly transition between different roles, such as cargo transport, troop deployment, or even medical evacuations. This flexibility makes the C-390 an invaluable asset for military operations that require adaptability. One of the key features that sets the C-390 apart from older aircraft, like the C-130J, is its use of modern technology. The C-390 is equipped with Rockwell Collins Proline Fusion Avionics, a cutting-edge system that provides superior performance and simplifies the aircraft's operations. This system helps enhance the aircraft's efficiency, making it more user-friendly and adaptable to various mission requirements. But technology isn't the only thing that makes the C-390 stand out. The aircraft is built to perform in even the most challenging environments. Whether it's extreme weather conditions or difficult terrain, the C-390 is designed to excel where other aircraft might struggle. The C-390's design is another area where it shines. One of the key elements of the aircraft's design is its fly-by-wire flight control system, which provides more precise control and stability during flight. The system also includes active side sticks, which help pilots handle the aircraft more effectively, especially during high-stress maneuvers. Another important feature is the aircraft's hydraulic wing flap system, backed by an electrical system to ensure reliability. This dual system helps the C-390 maintain control and safety in even the most demanding situations. The cockpit is designed for maximum visibility, with a short, downward-sloping nose that improves the pilot's field of view. Inside, the C-390 features head-up displays for both the pilot and co-pilot. These displays are fully compatible with night vision goggles, making the aircraft suitable for nighttime missions as well. In terms of performance, the C-390's aerodynamic design allows it to achieve rapid descent rates of up to 9,000 feet per minute, while still maintaining a maximum speed of 560 kilometers per hour. Even on semi-prepared runways, with pits up to 40 centimeters deep, the C-390 is able to take off and land efficiently. The aircraft also boasts an impressive cargo bay, with a length of 18.5 meters, a width of 3.45 meters, and a height of 2.95 meters. The C-390 has a payload capacity of 26 tons. This allows it to transport a wide range of equipment, 
including armored vehicles, helicopters, and even troops. It can carry up to 80 soldiers or 66 fully equipped paratroopers. One of the C-390's most important capabilities is its ability to perform air-to-air -air refueling. The aircraft is equipped with two wing-mounted refueling probes that can transfer fuel at a rate of up to 1,500 liters per minute. This feature is crucial for military operations that require extended flight times, as it allows the C-390 to refuel other aircraft mid-air, ensuring that missions can continue without interruption. In addition to its refueling capabilities, the C-390 is also equipped with a robust defense system. This includes radar and missile warning systems, as well as chaff and flare dispensers, all provided by Elbit systems. These defensive measures ensure that the C-390 can operate safely in hostile environments. The question on everyone's mind is, why will the C-390 surpass the C-130J? The C-130J has faced competition before, notably from the French-German C-160 Transal, but it remained dominant due to its reliability and Lockheed Martin's ability to mass-produce the aircraft at a lower cost. However, the global military landscape has shifted. Embraer estimates a global demand for nearly 700 military transport aircraft over the next decade, as countries look to replace aging fleets. While Lockheed Martin's production of the C-130J remains strong, Embraer's C-390 offers a more cost-effective and modern alternative. The C-390 has a lower price point, carries over 7 tons more cargo, and boasts faster speeds than the C-130J. Its V-250 turbofan engines, which are shared with the Airbus A320, make maintenance and parts acquisition easier and more affordable, further adding to its appeal. When we compare the C-390 with the C-130J, the differences become even clearer. The C-390 has a payload capacity of 57,000 pounds, which is more than 15% greater than the C-130J's 42,000 pounds. The C-390 also has a maximum takeoff weight of 87 tons, compared to the C-130J's 70 tons. In terms of speed, the C-390 wins again. It can reach a top speed of 615 miles per hour, while the C-130J tops out at 592 miles per hour. The C-390 also has a longer range, capable of flying up to 3,370 nautical miles without a payload, compared to the C-130J's 2,710 nautical miles. The C-390 is already making a significant impact in the military aviation market. Hungary has recently completed successful test flights with its first C-390 and several other countries, including South Korea, Colombia, Egypt and Greece, are also considering adopting the C-390 as a replacement for their aging C-130 fleets. Since its debut with the Brazilian Air Force in 2019, the C-390 has accumulated over 11,500 flight hours, with an impressive mission completion rate of over 99%. This level of performance, combined with its advanced features and lower costs, positions the C-390 as a serious contender in the global military transport market. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed learning about the Embraer C-390 and how it's set to surpass the C-130J Super Hercules, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more insights on aviation industry.